849, welcome back to KPRC 2 Plus Now. The College of Biblical Studies is headquartered here in Houston, has locations in Indianapolis and Fort Wayne, Indiana, and offers an online campus. This morning, we're going to talk about their Emerging Leaders Scholarship, which will fully fund tuition for some students, no strings attached. I'm here with Dr. William Blocker, President of the College of Biblical Studies, and Dr. Maggie Rodriguez, Executive Director of Student Success. Thank you both for coming in this morning and <laughs> chatting with us. Thank you for this having me. This is a very exciting that. time for so many families. It is extremely exciting. And now is the time to prepare. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Where, where do we start? From the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Always a great spot. <laughs> uh, start a little, tell us a little bit about the information uh, that people might want to know about the College of Biblical Studies. First of all, College of Biblical Studies started in 1976. Most people don't know. 1976. Houston, we've been around for 47 years. Wow. We're the best kept secret. We're trying to change that. <laughs> <back>. <laughs> uh, wow. 1976. That's incredible. Dr. Rodriguez, tell us a little bit about some of the degree programs that uh, students can pursue. Students can pursue a bachelor's degree in biblical studies, in biblical counseling, if they feel called that they want to counsel. We have a wonderful biblical counseling program, and we also have uh, organizational leadership, which mirrors a business degree as well. You talk about that, um, that leadership program that we just mentioned. What does that entail? Well, leadership is something that we try to couch, Zach, in a specific way that uh, everybody has the potential to be a leader. Yeah, absolutely. It depends on what type of leader you're going to be. And we believe that we're a faith-based institution. And so we believe that the moral character and fiber of a person is critically most important. Yeah. And so what we try to do is prepare them inwardly for uh, a morality character type situation so they can handle effective leadership when they leave in any occupation they go into. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. You know, it's finding that spark and, and igniting that fire. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so many people have that. And in all industries, there needs to be leadership. So that's extremely relevant. Talk about uh, Abigail's Army program. Well, the Abigail's Army program is a scholarship for women to be able to come to school and um, uh, to be able to study scripture and get a degree as well. That's amazing. What are some yes. of the requirements for these programs? All right, so, so typically, um, first and foremost, uh, you have to have a desire and passion mm -hmm. <laughs> to succeed. And we always say- And that, that goes for anything and everything. Yes, we say you, we, we come, you come with passion, we'll help you find purpose. Right. That's how we couch it, so. Yes, uh, we believe that um, we have a hope and also, and, and we, our distinction is that we prepare multi-ethnic leaders um, it, so, so they can serve the world and impact the world and the city. So they come in and they can get a degree and they can get trained in that area. Are these programs just for people who want to pursue or become ministers or pastors? Not at all. Not at all. And see, we started out with an ambition to train pastors who could not naturally get access to higher education. And we have morphed now uh, 70 plus percent of people oh, coming to our college wow. who have no idea even interest in going in pastoral leadership and so isn't that something we try to saturate things and here's what we look at houston as you know is the most diverse city now in yeah, the country mm -hmm. absolutely and so what the college of biblical studies does is we like to say all tongues tribes and nations we have a conglomeration where people are saying diversity we want to get diverse we were created for diversity mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so we have if you can imagine this a, around our table in our classroom we have octagon tables you have a person who's a doctor sitting next to a person from the third world sitting, sitting next to a homeschool mom Isn't and they're all something? learning yes. at the same <laughs> table at the same time and yes. those cultures come together and it's a robust type of experience. And that is the greatest type of education when you Absolutely. incorporate that type of diversity. Absolutely. Right. Truly amazing. Yes. And, and if I may add, we're Absolutely. one of we're one of only I think six or seven schools now, uh, Bible colleges, Christian universities that we have dual accreditation. Oh wow. We have accreditation nationally and we have accreditation that can transfer credits to UT, same type of accreditation that U University of Houston, Houston has, mm -hmm. uh, you name it, and our accreditation is second to zero. For yes. people uh, wanting more information, uh, where can they go? 
they can contact cbshouston.edu, visit our website at cbshouston.edu, or contact us via um, CBS. They can call at 832-252-4623. Uh, and before I let you go, I know people watching, listening right now, they're going to be wondering about deadlines. Any fast approaching deadlines that they need to be cognizant of? Well, of course, a fall semester is going to start next month. Okay. Yes, but we have open enrollment. So, but we're asking for them to. You have open yes. enrollment for the fall. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. And if I can put a plug yes, in, sir. emerging leaders. We haven't talked about that. Okay. Yes. That's our growing initiative. We're trying to help every young man who has not had the privilege of having a father in a home, mm. fully paid scholarship. All they need to do is show up, and we're trying to saturate them with character, with passion, and with concern to be productive citizens in our world. And we know that need is there. Absolutely. There's a very yes. big need. So Absolutely. for any young man between the ages of 17 and 30 who may have grown up without a father, mm -hmm. we are providing a full scholarship for them to get their bachelor's degree. I love that. And they can, of course, get information on that program as well. Absolutely. On your website. Yes, the Emerging Leaders Program. Okay. Thank you both for coming in this Pleasure. morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.